It's so good to see you all. I hope that you are having a wonderful week so far. After all, today's my Monday. Um, for those of you that um, showed up last night for the um, social that I usually have at seven o'clock on Mondays, because of the holiday, I didn't have it. And um, I forgot to mention, I did swaps last night. It's funny because I was here crafting anyway. Um, Massachusetts is pretty much still shut down. Um, so I haven't been anywhere um, to speak of. Um, but I did, hang on, I'm trying to get this shared over to the creative group. I did get wind today. Have you guys ever heard of that? Um, it is the coolest thing ever. <sighs> Sorry, it's not cooperating. This website is using significant memory, you know. Anyway, hi Debbie, how you doing? So, um, yeah, like I, I belong to this board and it's all people who live in Draget and Pelham and just my local area. And um, apparently a fairy wine fairy shows up on your doorstep and leaves you a basket of wine. Well, my fairy was awesome because I got one bottle of wine and she brought me some dark chocolate and some stuff with nuts, which is my favorite. Maybe it's a little bit like me. Um, hi, Jill. Um, but it was really absolutely fabulous. I'm not having any luck sharing this over to my group, so eh, whatever. Maybe I'll go the other way. You know, it's the only thing about technology that actually ever works um, is that it always changes and you just have to try and keep up because no matter what you do, it doesn't seem to work. But that's what you do. It does make our lives better and I get to connect with all of you across the country and Michigan and um, sometimes Australia and what a joy it is. So um, getting wined was the highlight of the day. Do you sell the DSP displayed papers that are in the background? That's a good question, Sharon. Today, I spent a good part of my day uh, making my new files for my designer series paper um, backers. And if you're part of my creative group, I will um, be uploading those uh, when the new catalog goes live so that if you wanna make your own squares, you can. For my team, I usually um, will give them the option for me to print but it is an awful lot of work and the, all those little two inch squares to make sure that everybody gets you know the two inch square for the thing but yes um i make them every time and this time i'm even uh doing six by six i didn't for the last big catalog but yes there will be new ones like this this week and they're the pdfs are done so um good question thank you um let's see post. All right. So I'm feeling very happy today. And Mary Lou Thompson, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, um, uh, comments go across my screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block my eyes and I'm going to wait for you guys to comment and say something. And then the person that is on my screen when I open my eyes, Elisa O'Neill, send me your um, address and I'm gonna mail you some pom-poms. So thanks for being with me. If I could, I'd give everybody a prize, but um, Elisa O'Neill, um, go ahead and private message me your address after the video. <laughs> if you private message me now, you know <laughs> it'll bounce up and it'll freeze me and all of that good stuff. Anyway. Last week, we talked about how you can emboss with any um, color. So you can use clear embossing powder, you just use classic ink, you ink up with Versamark, then you ink up with your classic ink, you stamp on your paper, you pour the clear embossing powder, and you can make it any color, right? Well, this week, I'm going to talk about white embossing powder and how you can use it to chalkboard. Um, and before we do that, I'm going to flip the camera over and I want to show you some love that I got in the mail um, just this week. So hang on a minute. Um, whoops. Sorry, I didn't block the camera. I usually have my hand at the other end to block the camera, but that's okay. 
Okay, so first of all, this card came from my um, friend and team member, Denise. And um, I thought it was pretty. It's so simple. It uses some of that older designer series paper, and I think it's beautiful. I'm going to try and get to that back to that video so I can see your comments, because now that you're up on the stand, I can't see you. Um, and then this one came from my friend Laura, Laura Smith. She is in North Carolina, another team member um, who sent me some sunshine in the mail. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate you. And my good friend, Marcia Gay sent me this beautiful card to wish me a mother happy mother's day so i'm a little bit late saying thank you but um i just value her and our friendship so much denise and, and um i'm getting everybody confused now this card is from marcia and i do i miss her dearly and when all of this mess is over she's one of our um cruise buddies like when we go on the incentive trips she and i and um, her husband chuck and my husband brian we all hang out um when this is all over, I think we're going to road trip to her house. So um, that's the plan anyway. And then um, this one came from my dear friend, Kathy Daw. And she is just a love. And I am so grateful for all the cards in the mail to brighten my day when I can't, I'm not allowed to go out. Um, well, at least not that much. So it's, it's going to lighten up soon, I think. I hope. So anyway, I wanted to show you something new. Oh my gosh. So I was playing last night and I made my first swap card. So if you're in Jeanette Swap and Marsha, don't look. <laughs> There's only 16 of them, but I made this card for a swap that I am in with 16 of my friends and I sent a package off to my friend Jeanette this morning so I wouldn't be late. And this is my card using the new um, Celebrate Sunflowers bundle. And it's featuring some of the designer papers that are coming. And of course, Misty Moonlight. And you may wonder how in the world I was able to stamp in the Misty Moonlight. You know how long I've wanted to say that? Because the whole time when I saw the new in colors, I just want to stamp in Misty Moonlight. Well, this month in the Paper Pumpkin kit guess what was in there but misty moonlight ink so i was very excited to make my swaps with something that maybe people didn't think that they already had in their stash um and you can see i just sprinkled on some pearls and i forgot on that one so i'll have to fix that one up before i send it out so um i'm not allowed to show you the inside of the catalog but I can show you what I'm playing with. So this Celebrate Sunflowers is awfully pretty. And I thought that maybe you, could, you guys could help me. Anybody feel behind at everything these days? I think I do. I think that getting, like, getting a break out of the house is like good for you because it helps you get like more productive when you are in your own space, but I did a lot. I, I did all of those swaps yesterday. So I'm going to put this on a block and we'll Versa mark it up. And we can stamp on the Misty Moonlight paper. Ah. I could use color on color, but I really want to do white embossing powder. So I'm going to ink this. I don't know if I grabbed. You know, I always, like if I'm going into a class, I always like to um, re-ink my Versa mark or any of my ink pads. I like to look and make sure that, they, that they're not lacking ink. But I'm gonna stamp this about here. So this is the first time I'm using a stamp. I'm so excited. And if you guys see me going in a direction that you think um, you want to participate, tell me what you want. So I was looking at uh, this week's sketch challenge from Casing Tuesday. And like I said, I'm really behind. So um, I wanted to make a card that would fit the sketch. Um, and I'm gonna need my heat tool for this. Oh my gosh, it's already so beautiful. Um, if you emboss this, you could just add a little bit of um, low light with a blender pen and you'd be like, just enough. Or 
you could bleach it and color it. There's a whole bunch of ways to play with this once you've got it heated. But let's uh, give it a heat. Again, we're gonna go to setting two on the new heat tool because uh, we want this bad boy to melt. And these um, embossing powders are all brand new. Oh, look at that. I see there's, there's a little spot missing. I can go back in and fix it while it's still wet. Oh, and look, now I have something showing up that shouldn't be there. And I didn't grab a paintbrush. I always like to have a paintbrush nearby because as long as you hit this little fleck of stuff that's not supposed to be there before you heat it up, it won't show up on your final project. All right, so let's go again. Let's try that. Take two. Oh, look, I got another little fleck right there. Good. Paintbrush. But it really, it really would show up quite a bit on the, um, on the blues, so that's why I, I did it right away. So now you notice my paper is curling a little bit. I'm going to hold it straight up and down so you can see it. So all you do is you flip the paper over and you do the same thing to the back and it will straighten your paper out. That's the same thing with water or heat. Whenever you do something to a piece of paper, if you do the same thing to the other side, it will typically fix it. Okay, this is really pretty, but I wanna bring in my sketch. So um, this sketch in my head has images at the top and the bottom and then there's sort of a sentiment across the top and right now I only have sentiments, I only have my image at the top and I'm just going to double check it. I like to pull it in. Oh see look there's a there's a piece here that might not be cooked. Do you see it on the on the far edge? So I'm just going to give that another little hit. It's always good to double check it before you touch it. Oh, look it, and it brightened right up. So it's good to, if, especially like, you know, if you're looking at it once and then you look at it too close, sometimes you need to go back in for another look. So don't just run your finger through it to see if it's done. Because um, if it's not, you won't like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss this one at the bottom. And I'm going to peel and just move that over. It's fine. I'll clean it after. For the sake of time. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Jerry. Okay, so here we go. I got, I got one at the bottom, one at the top. Now I'm looking more like the sketch, right? Because I've, um, I've got the two images. And what do you know, I rocked my stamp. So special. That's okay. So normally when I put um, a stamp on the block, I will take the time to trim off that extra rubber. You guys have probably seen me do it a million times, so I didn't think I needed to take time to do it with the second. So by the power of my paintbrush, I got rid of all those extra little flecks of stuff that I don't want on my finished project and I can heat this one up. So now I got sunflowers at the top and bottom to match up with this um, book case. So this is on page uh, 43 of the current mini. By the way, in just a couple of days, you're not gonna be able to order from the old book, both of them, anymore. So uh, you may wanna take one last look if there's anything that you need. Um, I can put the host code that I have going. I have a host code uh, for club that I'm gonna share out because a couple of my in-person club members, one of my groups um, broke this month and a couple of my members have opted not to renew just because of what's going on. So I'm gonna make some of those projects available online. So stay tuned for that. There'll be more information coming. I'm actually excited. I've been wanting to delve into that. I, I haven't put my clubs online before. Anyway, so you might wonder where I'm going with this. So
So it's beautiful on its own, and you could actually make it darker on the inside if you wanted, but I thought that we could pull these in. I could have done the two at the same time. I just, I didn't know where I was going and I wanted to see the spacing. Um, so I'm gonna go back in and start to color my embossing with my blends because the blends are alcohol-based ink and they might even um, do me a little favor and darken up the middle as I go. So I want to, I'm gonna go like this because I really wanna see this color and I'm not seeing it as much as I would like. Oh, there it is. So I'm, I'm starting with the lighter color because it's like a haircut. Once you've cut too much, you're done. So if you put too much color on and you don't like it, you're all done. But I love a chalkboarding kind of look. I think the darker marker is gonna be the way to go. So this is dark balmy blue. And the reason that I went with the balmy blue over say pool party is because it seems like with this new misty moonlight blue, it's the right blue. Um, the other one, the pool party has a lot of green in it. And this blue is on the gray side of blue, which is very balmy blue to me. So I'm gonna take the time later, I guess, to color all of that in. Well, I mean, we could finish it, but it would take a little bit. So, but you get the idea, right? So I can move on here. And what I'd like to do is go back to the sketch for a second. And now, can you see where my, my sentiment is gonna end up? Um, I have this one and maybe we'll just um, put it on a white strip to kind of do like the opposite thing so that the main image look I have a scrap right here okay for those who come to my in-person classes hell may have just frozen over because I just pulled a piece of paper out of my scrap bin <laughs> out of the trash it's too funny Okay, so I'm gonna ink this up in Misty Moonlight. Stampin' by Misty Moonlight. And I usually hate these little ink spots, I gotta be honest, they're not like, I'd rather have a marker any day, but the fact that they gave it to us in a paper pumpkin, I couldn't have been happier with Stampin' Up on that one. So thank you Stampin' Up for letting us stamp in the Misty Moonlight. Oh, look what I did. I rocked it. Son of a gun. I hate that. Okay, let's go again. Oh. <laughs> That's why. See, it flipped over on my table. It's making a mess. I'm an old school stamper, and I should have trimmed this one too, but I will, I'll get there. Oh. So, imagine if you will, that this stamps perfectly. Oh my God, it's too funny. Only when you're live, right? Well, I was turned on to these things called um, ink erasers, so we could try that if I don't wanna completely throw it out. But I'm gonna make a three quarter inch strip out of that. It's so funny. Only when you're live, new comments. Yep, two sides. In my case, I need all four because it was, it was a double sided piece. Oh my goodness. That's a riot. So Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these shucks. Um, they are called sand erasers and if you do what I just did, um, sometimes you can get it off. And, and the trick truly is to go at it nice and slow. And of course I'm just digging um, because then you won't pill uh, or damage the paper. Um, but you just do a little bit at a time, lighten your hand, Celine. But see it disappearing? Any of the big box stores have them. If you get stuck, let me know. If you order in a class from me, I, I think I have a couple extra in my stash. I wish we sold these because they're awesome. So um, anyway, 
that's another way to do it. Yay. So there's my, um, my sentiment and it's nice on the three quarter, but I think I want even less. Did you know that it is impossible for the human hand to draw or cut a straight line like this? So it's going to be imperfect, but it's okay. Imperfect like me. We're good. That's been the thing about this. Um, you know, we have people. We have this big superpower. Um, all of these crafters that band together. I'm so grateful for all of you guys so much. All right. So I think it's going to need a little yellow. Um, but you guys see where I'm going with that. And I will post the final card. It's going to be pretty simple to put together. And I may even... Um, throw that on the paper cutter if it uh, annoys me that much that my hand isn't straight. <laughs> but it is physically impossible, so that makes me feel better. Um, all right, so the other thing was when I went in to make that uh, swap, let's see, where is it again? I ended up with a whole bunch of little two by two squares. Who's excited to see the new snail? We're gonna have a new snail and then we're gonna have a replacement for fast fuse. I'm really excited about that. Oh, I think they would sell too. I, I need one everywhere I go, Bonnie. Um, and it's one of those staple items. That's why I was saying like, I'm sure that uh, you can find them anywhere online, even Amazon. So I love these little two by two squares. So I just um, cut a little bit of misty moonlight paper to go behind them. This is the coordinating designer paper that goes with that bundle. And it is, it comes in six by six. You get um, 12 double-sided sheets, uh, four of each. But when I saw these squares, I started to think like, this. Oh, that looks right. So let's grab a quarter sheet. <laughs> I don't know if the um if the blue is gonna pull right. No, I think not. That's okay. Let's grab from the uh in color package. All right, so you ready for a preview of these in colors? They're, oh my gosh, awesome. So this one is Bumblebee and Cinnamon. Uh, like fall colors, right? And then Jade, just Jade. That's not coming out right on the video. There, that's more Jade. Like when it almost looked blue. Here it is against a blue, so you can see how jade it actually is. And then holy yellow, I mean, uh, holy pink. I didn't think in when I looked at the catalog that this pink was going to be that pink, but it is, oh my gosh, pink. It is truly 80s magenta, bright, bright pink. Um, and then I think this is going to be my favorite. I don't know. It's hard to say because when you um, when you pull in all of them together, is there anyone that stands out to you? I am definitely um, drawn to the blue. That's my fave. I'm looking. I lost your comments, I think, because I'm not seeing which ones are your favorite. I want to see what you like. Anyway, um, so I'm going to bring these back in and grab my cutter and pull a quarter sheet. So um, when you're layering up cards, just an easy layering thing to start with. Actually, I'm going to go five by three and three quarters so we can throw a couple of layers in this. You like the Just Jade and you like Cinnamon. Yeah, it's it's uh, going to be interesting to see, like, moving forward, 
then you guys are gonna love the um the other paper that's coming the um the one with all the greens and blues all right so i cut this down to five by three and three quarter and i'm gonna just um pull this in how fast and easy So here we go. Uh, it's always hard to like decide where you want your points to end up. But these are going to overlap on the sides, which is fine. Very symmetrical, huh? And maybe dimensionals for that guy. But before I stick it down, I think we should put another thanks a bunch. I should probably clean this guy but you know we're live I'm living on the edge hi Fran yeah Vicki I'm with you the, the misty moonlight oh it's like joyful all right I'm gonna try to go straight down and up down and up look at no rocking it's because of nerves that you know everybody gets nervous when they do lives I think I know I do I don't know why other than I'm hanging out here with you, but I did have a couple of um, trolls. One lady said something to the effect of um, Hallmark is cheaper and it doesn't look like a kindergartner made it or something like that. I was like, oh my God, blocked. <laughs> I'm here to have a little fun. I hope you do too. Um, oh, you know, I love this, but what would make it better? Maybe some ribbon? Oh, I am pulling everything out for you guys. I haven't even stamped with the new stuff at all yet, except for um, yesterday and today with the swap uh, that I started doing. So, oh yeah, blocked. Yep, done. And I'm like, why don't you just scroll by if you don't like it, That's silly? You don't have to watch. <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, and then I, I asked one of my friends, I have a lot of girlfriends like that are, uh, that are internet people. I don't consider myself, I'm definitely, I've been in person my whole career with Stampin' Up! And I consider like the online thing for me, just like a, a thing. But I, I, I texted a couple of them and said, does that mean I've made it? <laughs> I get, I get mean people. So, anyway, I love this gingham. I'm going to order it by the barrel, I think. I have a retreat coming up at the end of June. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to do it or if I'm going to have to convert it all online. I'll do it either way, but I hope I get to. We'll, we'll see what, the, what happens with everything. The lawmakers are just trying to keep us safe. And that's what I want for my people. Anyway, here we go. Thanks a bunch with a little bow. And then I can't even stand it. I think I'm going to go outside the frame so that when I finish this and it has a layer on it, I'll just use the back side of this so you can see that there'll be like a blue layer and then there'll be a white layer, but you'll see that it breaks the plane a little bit and that it stands up. What do you think? Do you think we need Wink Stella? I think. We do. Oh, and uh, while I'm over here, I'll grab some pearls. I think everything that I've made with this so far makes me so happy. Like, it's so easy to put the layers together. So simple. Sparkle, sparkle. And then um, we'll just finish it off. I don't know if you guys like the new trick that I have and I love the take your pick tool for this but like these are so slick now that I just literally slide things slide them off and wherever they land whoop, I love the whole sprinkling of stuff it doesn't have to be perfect oh my gosh and then you'll get that sparkle on the inside of those flowers you see in it 
Ugh. So I will finish this one and put the put find the uh, the sentiment or stamp a new one. I'll decide. Although I think that that eraser did a really good job. Um, and I will get these uploaded and um, posted to the group. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me see. I'm going to come in for a hello again and see if anybody is. So I'm just going to look through and see if I can see your questions. Uh, oh, thank you. Pretty 90 degrees in Michigan. You know, that's coming this way. Um, we're supposed to have a heat wave. It, we had snow and a heat wave in May in, in Massachusetts. That's, that's how it is. Northern Maine, 85 degrees. Bonnie blocked. <laughs> Fran Ward. Well, it's really great seeing everybody. And I will get these um, posted to the group and I will see you soon. If you have any suggestions for a video, like I really like the idea that you can go in and you can color um, with your blends on top of the white. So last week we did um, the um, make your own color on regular white paper. And this time we did it like chalkboard style, but you could do it with pink, you could do it with any color and go right on top of your white. So fun stuff. Um, talk to you guys soon. Thanks.